They were times of growth, of possibility, of confidence. The pace of life was slower then, but the momentum of modern times had begun and was felt everywhere. They were people of pride in a land of endless promise. The promise that with applied effort, any challenge could be met. America expected much of itself. Progress was the order of the day. So many things to be produced, so many places for it all to go. And getting it there was just as important. Just getting yourself around was fundamental to being an American. Within one generation, the automobile had evolved from a curiosity to an essential part of daily life. The car had come to embody independence. Everybody had equal access to wherever the road would take them. And with their high expectations of progress, Americans foresaw a future of even greater opportunity and mobility, one which would save them time and effort. They grew to expect excellent roads as a foundation for the vehicles which guaranteed their independence. The road became more than a convenience. It became a symbol for freedom itself, an American birthright. So much effort, so much spirit was put into the highways when they were built. But as time went by, they began to be taken for granted. People expect to be able to go where they want, and they usually drive their cars without really thinking about the roads they're traveling on. They simply assume that the roads will always be there. But roads do more than just get us where we're going. They stimulate economic growth and create jobs. It was recognized from the start by those with foresight that better roads would be a valuable asset to the economy. It was not hard to imagine how better roads would improve the links between manufacturer and markets, between markets and the consumer, between the farms and the cities. Pennsylvania was a leader in creating farm-to-market roads in the 20s under Governor Gifford Pinchot. Getting the farmer's produce to the cities in a timely manner was critical. The movement to get the farmer out of the mud soon proved beneficial to more than just the farmer. With improving road surfaces came the more dependable transport of all materials, from the manufacturing centers to other major cities and ports. The increased mobility of the population itself would spark a revolution. No longer tied to the schedule of the railroads or the limits of the trolley, Americans found a freedom unknown before. New possibilities opened up at every turn of the new roads. New choices of where to live, where to work, where to spend recreational time. The individual driver's sense of independence and freedom actually began to change the landscape. As time progressed, new business environments sprung up around the roads as a result of the use of automobiles. As roads were modernized, they were able to carry increased amounts of traffic, moving at higher speeds. The interstate highway system seemed the culmination of economic incentive, a vision of a unified nation, and a sense of national pride and achievement. The interstates turned space into time. You no longer talked about how far you had to go, but how long it would take you. The places we worked and shopped were minutes away, not miles away. The highway's chief function was to keep America moving, keep the traffic moving, preserve the flow of commercial goods and raw materials. For business and industry, this was critical. The economic impact of the transportation system on practically every aspect of life has been vast. From the evolution of suburban communities, shopping malls, fast food restaurants, to increased access for commuters to a greater number of job possibilities and the expansion of business and leisure travel. Today, Pennsylvania maintains over 115,000 miles of road and 22,600 bridges. Business and industry continue to seek locations that are highly accessible 
and provide the greatest mobility for workers and products. Investing in stronger, smoother roads and bridges generates many benefits for business, government, and individuals, such as increased highway safety, greater access, less wasted travel time, and of course, a thriving economy. More than ever, we've come to rely on our roads for these benefits. A prime example of the beneficial effects of an improved modern highway system is found in Blair County in central Pennsylvania. Once a thriving rail crossroads, the Altoona area had fallen into a long-term recession in the 70s. It and other area towns were accessible only by then rural two-lane Route 220. Businesses were reluctant to settle in such an isolated area and jobs suffered. In August 1989, newly reconstructed Route 220 was opened, completing a north-south corridor between the Pennsylvania Turnpike and Altoona through central Pennsylvania. The improvements to Route 220 in Blair and Bedford counties have resulted in economic growth and development, industrial expansion, increased tourism, and a higher amount of jobs. Governor Casey has called Route 220 the cornerstone of economic development in these counties for years to come. The Altoona Chamber of Commerce has seen a major increase in business expansion, as well as industries interested in relocating to the area. 1988 commercial building permits were up 500% over 87. Since 1985, 52 companies spent $49 million expanding plants or establishing new operations in the area, creating 2,500 jobs. Business and industry leaders have specifically cited access and road improvements in their decisions to relocate, build, and expand near Route 220. Increased traffic safety is another benefit being realized. The improved design of the highway has incorporated many safety features like longer sight distances and smoother transitions on the ramps. Already, fatalities and injuries are down significantly. This project serves as a model for other areas of Pennsylvania for wider, smoother, safer, and more convenient roads which now provide their communities with increased economic opportunities. It's a reminder of what we can do as we look ahead to the challenges that remain. Our attention to highway and road conditions in Pennsylvania must never cease. The conditions are constantly changing due to uncontrolled circumstances. The elements, the economy, growth patterns, time itself. Highway systems that were built with pride in their time have been affected by these changing circumstances. At the time the roads were planned, no one could predict what the population, employment, or traffic patterns would be like in the 90s. The roads were not poorly designed. It's just that time has changed things, and our needs are different now. Our roads and bridges must be improved, and we have only now begun to realize the enormity of this challenge. According to the Federal Highway Administration, 65.2% of Pennsylvania's most heavily traveled highways need some form of surface rehabilitation. Listed on the most recent federal inventory as fair or poor. The age of the system is mostly to blame. Almost all of our existing roads were built before 1960. Roads were expected to last an average of 20 years. And many of the most important roads have sustained much heavier traffic loads than they were built to withstand. PennDOT has estimated that, as of 1987, over half of Pennsylvania's interstates had exceeded their design life. That figure is expected to reach 90% in the next two years. All drivers pay the cost of operating vehicles on substandard roads. Rough and broken pavement causes greater fuel consumption, damage to brake, steering and suspension systems, and excessive tire wear. These additional costs in 1988 were an estimated $16 billion, or nearly $100 per driver in wasted fuel and repairs. The Federal Highway Administration reports 40.3% of Pennsylvania's bridges as either structurally deficient or obsolete. This compares with 36% just two years ago. 
Many bridges built 40 to 50 years ago are at the end of their planned lifespans and are being continually worn by weather conditions and modern traffic volumes and excessive weights. While safety is the most obvious concern with the condition of bridges, there are numerous other effects. Bridges posted for reduced vehicle weight can reduce response time for emergency vehicles by forcing them to make detours. These extended routes also cause higher costs for public transportation services. Retail and industrial growth in certain areas can outdate the road system that serves them in a few short years. The resulting traffic congestion can cause delays, wasted time and fuel, and wear and tear on individuals caught in traffic jams. Traffic continues to increase on Pennsylvania's roads, as on highways across the nation. The amount of miles traveled is expected to double in the next three decades. It's clear that our road problems will only get worse unless we meet the challenge of funding the needed repairs and upgrades. Pennsylvania depends upon user fees, like motor fuel taxes, for its highway budget. These taxes are expressed as 12 cents per gallon of gasoline, paid at the pump at the time of each purchase, a rate that has not increased in seven years. The funding problems come in three main areas. Pennsylvania's state-maintained road system is the fourth largest in the nation, equaling in size the state road systems of New York and the six New England states combined. But Pennsylvania has less than half their combined budgets for roads. Since cars are becoming more fuel efficient, total miles driven is increasing twice as fast as fuel consumption. Thus, revenue collected per gallon from the motor fuel tax fails to keep pace with the amount of wear to our roads and bridges. Rehabilitation is destined to cost more in the long run. Costs of repair have soared while the purchasing power of user fees has decreased. Resurfacing roads in fair condition costs one-fourth as much as reconstructing roads that have deteriorated into the poor condition category, which can happen in just a few years. The answers to our funding dilemma will be found in the spirit and resolve of the people. Where we see problems, we can provide the solutions. We always have. That's fundamental to the American character. We've never been a people who looked at our circumstances and said, good enough. There has always been the promise of a better tomorrow and the vision to get us there. The support of every Pennsylvanian is vital for the future of our highway system. RIDE, a broad-based coalition of citizens concerned about our roads, has been organized to increase public awareness on these issues. Your voice does count. We urge you to make it heard. Let your local and state representatives and government officials know your opinions. We create roads as a society with all their elements, design, economics, engineering. Highways are a reflection of our culture, our priorities, ourselves. As we begin the last decade of the century, we must regard with new respect the spirit of the early decades. Their foresight caused them to recognize they could do better. We can do no less. Times change. Time changes everything. We simply cannot accept a system of conditions built for the traffic of the past. They didn't back then. They expected more of America, and they took it upon themselves to provide it. It was their birthright. It is ours.